hey guys welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here make sure you hit that subscribe button and let's get right into this video shameless nails have sent me their on the boardwalk the powder kit to try out so let's see what's inside i'm really grateful that shameless nails sends me pr packages every month because i don't think i would be able to do accurate zodiac nail colors all the time the leo birdstone color is peridot and i don't have that shade of green anywhere and i'm sure i would have used the wrong color so thank you shameless nails so we have the information card which shows all of the different the powders that came and i really like the theme this month well last month because this is the july to august and we are in august I will be opening one of the dip powders as usual to show that it came sealed so as usual I'll be reading what's in the informational card for all of the different dip powders. Peridot glows bright green like a peridot in the mine with this stunning green and gold shimmer shade. The lion show off your Leo pride in this bright yellow and orange glitter and turn off the lights to let your inner lion shine. Cotton Candy, a sugary sweet blue raspberry glow in the dark glitter bound to give you a toothache. Tunnel of Love, snuggle up with your honey in this glowing hot pink chunky glitter. Creamsicle, cool down with this creamy orange treat. Bumper Car, the paint never chips on this hot rods shimmering deep green hood. Cinnamon Sugar, the gorgeous caramel and gold shimmer is as delicious as a funnel cake. Carousel. Take a magical ride on a gilded steed with this rose gold flaky glitter on a pink thermal base. And Cyclone. Get a view of the shimmering aqua waters from new heights aboard this historic roller coaster. Today I'll be doing a Leo Zodiac nail design using Peridot and the Lion de Powders from Shameless Nail and Prodip Clear de Powder. I'll also be using Prodip Liquids. I start by applying Prodip Prep to the nails. If you don't have any, you can use rubbing alcohol or acetone. Now I'm applying two layers of Clear de Powder to my nails. So I applied base to 3 quarter of the nail and dipped into the Clear de Powder. Then I applied base to the whole nail and dipped into the Clear de Powder. This is done to build the nails and to protect my natural nails from the color. This is also an optional step. Starting on the middle nail, I'm using Peridot and I did the whole nail with this dip powder. I really like how shimmery this dip powder is. It reached full opacity on the second or third layer. I did a few layers but only showed three layers.
Moving on to the pinky nail, I'm using the Lion. This color is so bright, it's almost blinding. I really liked this color. It's perfect for the summer. I wasn't able to get the full glow effect of either the powders, but both the powders glow. It just doesn't last as long as I'd like. On the ring nail, I applied tape off camera and then I applied the green dip powder to the nail bed area. I did three layers and then removed the tape. Then I applied the tape again and did about 3 more layers to build the nail. I just wanted to show you all up close and personal the lovely dip powder nails. One thing about Shameless Nails is their dip powders are always nice and they have some unique colors. Then I encapsulated the nail to build the nail further. Next, I applied activator and waited for the nail to harden to file and get a straighter line. Moving on to the index nail, I applied tape off camera again and then I'm using the green dip powder on the tip area. So I didn't follow my own advice, usually I would do 3 layers and then remove the tape because if I don't, the tape would be really difficult to remove but I decided to do a 4th or a 5th layer before taking off the tape and look what happened. So I didn't even have to apply activator to the index nail for the nail to harden which was weird but I went ahead and filed to get a straighter line.
now moving back to the ring nail I'm using the yellow glitter on the nail I did a few layers if you're getting value from this video don't forget to hit the like button below and comment your thoughts on the design as well and don't forget to subscribe to get the best tips and tricks for beautiful and fabulous nail designs at home On the index nail, I also applied the yellow glitter to the nail. I did a few layers, I really cannot remember how many. Then I encapsulated the nails with a few layers of clear de powder but I only showed one layer. Next, I applied activator and waited for the nails to harden so that I can begin my filing. This is after filing up the nails. So I didn't think the nails were leo -y enough <laughs> so I decided to draw the Leo sign so I did it in pencil on camera but it came out really shitty I did a better job off camera I can only draw on camera when I'm drawing on my thumbnail it's more comfortable for me so I drew it off camera now I'm just tracing over it with some model one stop coat and then I cured for 30 seconds Next I'm using my Mother One's gold chrome powder and I just rub it into the nail and here we have a Leo and astrological nail. I really didn't like this nail design at first. I felt like it was too much. I still think it's too much but it's alright it can pass. I was having a creative block with this design and this is the first 
thing that came to mind so I did it. Then I top coated all of the nails and cured for 30 seconds. The peridot glows but it's moody, it doesn't glow all the time. Then I applied my critical oil to the nails. So let me know what you guys think of my Leo Zodiac nail design. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys!